the entrance antiphon. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brethren. Alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves now for these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins as we ask the Lord for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to leave by himself with the soldier who was guiding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, my brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the, the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason. Then I have requested to see you and to speak to you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained, he remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance, and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. We gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just 
He loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. send to you the spirit of truth says the Lord he will guide you to all truth Conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that could be written, that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Finish strong. Sometimes we just stop, we slow down, thinking that I can't make it to the finish line. But always finish strong. St. Paul has quite a journey, and he's on a stopover, and he's there for two years, and he could be working on his defense to make sure that he's going to be freed. But he knows there's something more, that he's going to his death. Instead of thinking about himself and worrying about himself, who is he focused on? Jesus. Jesus. He's focused on Jesus and proclaiming the kingdom and proclaiming Jesus Christ to all who came to him. He doesn't reject anybody. So they came to the house, so he's sort of under a house arrest has a lot of freedom. There's sort of a military guard, and the guard just stays with him. But he's not in chains. And he's free to do what he wants, but he knows that this isn't the end here. There's more to come. So what is he to do? Keep proclaiming the gospel. Does he know exactly how much time he has? No. All he knows is that he has this day. Just like us. All we have is this day. We don't have tomorrow. Tomorrow's not here. So we go strong today. Not to sit back and say, well, no worries, I'm not going to do this, I don't care. But to be deliberate, to be conscious of who we are and what we're called to do. So this is the very end of the Acts of the Apostles and the very end of the Gospel of John. So John too is coming to the end of his life. 
But some are wondering, is John going to die? Because Jesus said these words that when I return, that you'll be here. That's not the concern when Jesus returns or whether he's going to die, but to finish strong. And so what does John do? He continues to proclaim the gospel. And so he lived possibly into his 90s. So he lives, outlives everyone else. All the others are martyrs. They died for the faith. And he's wondering, am I to die? I'm not going to worry about whether I'm going to die, but I'm called to live. This is what I spoke to yesterday. We had our graduation mass for our eighth graders and told them about the martyr yesterday, St. Christopher Magianus, that he died for Christ as a martyr. But the only way we die for Christ is if we first live for Christ. Well, I will never die for Christ if I don't live for Christ today. But if I live for Christ today, live for Christ tomorrow, then maybe one day if I'm asked, if it's before me, I might be able to die for Christ or to die for you and you for me. And that's love that is able, gives us the grace, the strength to do that. That's what pushes Paul. That's what pushes John to the finish line, to keep going, to keep going, not to give up, not knowing the day, but keep going. Sometimes we just want to, uh, just want to stop. I, I don't want to do this anymore. But I'm glad that you're here. This is a great way to start the day. There's many things before you this day. Does it mean that you have to work constantly all day? No. To balance the day in prayer and rest and meal. The things that you need to do, some activity, some exercise, all these different things each day, trying to keep the balance, but all the time keeping the focus. So today we come to the very end of the Easter season, this e season of great joy, right? We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. We conclude the Easter season with the Pentecost, the Spirit's coming. The Spirit is to help us to live as we're called to live, always. In season, Easter season, out of Easter season, whether a time of penance, whether a time of celebration, that the Spirit enlightens us how to live. That's what we ask this night on the Vigil of the Pentecost, tomorrow on Pentecost, is to ask the Holy Spirit to finish strong. Sometimes we may not feel like doing much, or what's it going to matter? Our world is crazy. No one's going to listen to me and my family. Well, keep praying. Keep telling others. Let them know the good news. And knowing that, as John said at the very end of the Gospel, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. Why? Because there's so much to be said about Jesus. And your story and your life is different from every other person in this world. That's why your story is important. That's why your testimony is important. You think, well, maybe you could listen to Father Matthew, listen to Father Joe, Father Mark, you know, they'll let them tell their story. No, your story and your walk with Jesus, which could be written and you could write that book, that's why we could have all of our books, all of our lives, and our walk with Jesus, that we continue to tell his story to the very end. Please stand. Let us now lift up our prayers to our Heavenly Father, who knows all of our needs. Let us pray for the church, that she will joyfully proclaim the gospel to all people and all nations. We pray to the Lord. We pray for leaders of state here in our country and throughout the world. We pray in a special way for Israel and Hamas that there will be peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray that there will be peace in our hearts for all who follow Christ, that the Spirit will find a place in our hearts on this Pentecost weekend. We pray to the Lord. 
for those who struggle, for those who are sick, for those who have stopped, that they don't want to go forward, that they're able to push on, to receive the grace this day, to do their best, not to give up. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Kaylee Seward today on her birthday, the Mass Intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died and gone before us, that they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your prayers, you hold in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord Merciful and loving Father, we thank you for all the blessings, all the gifts that you've given to us. Help us to use these gifts, the gift of our life, the gift of our faith, in giving witness to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <coughs> may the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, our God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter into the world, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you, God. On these last days, we should.